Welcome back to my channel. This is Don Rico Life. I'm here with my mechanic, slash friend, Terry. You know, he get my 95 and poly together. Here you go. It's the camshaft right here. And uh, tell, tell them about this camshaft, uh, uh, Terry. This is a Texas Speed. Um, we got a little, little more performance and stock set up in here. It should run real well. Uh, this is what they recommend for the Impala setup. Yeah. This should run real well. Um, we got the, got the heads redone. Right there, you can see it. Yeah. That's the camshaft right there, performance mm -hmm. for the um, 6.0 LS. Mm -hmm. Which was, uh, the 6.0 was boarded, right? Yeah. So we got the 6.0 boarded over. And these are the heads right here. Yeah. Which is 50 millimeter. And they polished. Hyper detected. Yep. Mm -hmm. And these are these aluminum. With the uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So if y'all know anything about heads, you know you know what he got. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna see like you're gonna definitely see more of the setup. Like once he put it all together and I fly back out here or drive out here, whenever this uh you know epidemic is over with. We got the engine, the time to change. ARP bolts. Yeah. yeah, so all this Fish going in my 95. Bearings. Got some nice, strong performance parts. ARP crankshaft bolts. Oh, yeah. The rod bearings. So it's definitely getting ready. This here is a kit for the oil pump. There's some okay. melons. Okay. This is the timing chain setup. Yep, that's the timing chain setup right there. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta bear with us, it's, it's dark, so. <laughs> Complete gas kit. This is the uh, gas kit right here, right? Yep. For the um, for the engine, for the engine, yeah. Yep. Okay. This is the engine block, and this is the engine block right here that we sent out and mm -hmm. got it uh, all machine. got it Let all it redone. Mm -hmm. Yep. So y'all gonna be seeing that real soon. And got the crankshaft right here. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh oh, whoa. Cylinder heads with the new valve springs. Yep, the cylinder heads, new valve springs on mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. You know, they looking mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And we just have to clean up the oil pan, the timing cover, and yeah. all that type of stuff. So did you have to um, switch the oil pan, or? Yes, um, we're going with the Camaro SS oil pan. The, the, okay. Mm -hmm. So you heard what he said, we're going with the Camaro SS oil pan. You know, for the uh, LS motor to right. fit up in my 95 setup yes, in Paula. Yes, mm -hmm. So, so yeah, 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 sounds good. And I know on the- and um. what I'm, what I'm gonna do also, Rico, when I go to Summit, I'm gonna yeah. lay everything out. Yeah. And I'm a video. Yeah, vid video, yeah. video. Yeah, if you can, Terry, do that. That way there, they yeah. can see the process. Yeah, yeah. Together, yeah. All that, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, cause I can, I, I can add all that stuff. And I know, um, mm -hmm. I, I know we was gonna do that 410 gear. Mm -hmm. So, I know we gotta do that. And uh, we still need the headers too, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, get the headers and stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look and see what type of deal I can get. And we are gonna go from there. Okay. You know, cause I'm still holding on to that cheddar. So yeah, 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 right. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, I'm, gonna, I, I'm just gonna go back out to the car for a minute just to get a quick, some yes, footage sir. of it. But as y'all can see, you see we working. We got all the new parts and got a lot of parts machine, machine ready. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a nicer setup when I lay it all out. Yeah. Spread, Cause I feel that and all that stuff. Yeah. So you know, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, Terry, you see all this stuff? He's serious about what he do. This is this his craft. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is what I'm doing. I'm building a foil 80 e trans right now for 85 Monte Carlo SS. 85 Monte Carlo. Manual. They, they love manual them G bodies, bodies, don't they? With the trans brake. Yeah, so you see all that. What he got going on? Yeah. You putting in ring and pinions and new differentials. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I want to do, like do my whole ring. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it can, it can that power from the engine can match the rear. You know right, what I mean? Right. So I guess when we put the brakes on, maybe I can probably video to that. Yeah, do it, do it okay. all, Terry. So then you can edit it. Yeah. Yep. And you can make it the way you want it. Yep. So yeah, this right here, this is the OLT1. It's just sitting in here, all the bolts are yeah. up, and it's just sitting in there ready to come out. Yeah, Terry, he, he already unplugged everything and popped mm -hmm. all the hoses off and, mm -hmm. and unbolted. He's just ready to pull it out, you know. And um, once he assemble the other engine mm -hmm. he gonna drop it i don't know if he gonna assemble it out the car or in the car no no out out, out, out the car out the car okay yep mm -hmm. so you as you can see this 95 is pretty clean cleaner than most 96s mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. so it's definitely gonna be ready soon oh yeah and uh and see since this stuff going on yeah we have to stay home yep i'll be here working yep so we're gonna definitely put like a uh a 14 gear mm -hmm. inside the 95. Mm -hmm. I already got new I'm going back with the factory brakes until I um because I really would like to upgrade the brake system. How how you think I should go about that? Well, first of all, the good thing you start now with the foundation, which is the rotors yeah. and the pads themselves. Mm -hmm. You're putting a progressive foundation brake system on it already. Yeah. Uh, ain't too much more you can do to it. Because it has the ABS and all that. Yeah. So it, it should be just fine. Okay. The brake pads and rotors, they change the diameters and stuff like that. That's what they can do. But once you do that, then you're going to run into the problem with your wheels and yeah. all that stuff. But I think it should be fine with you. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I think, I think it'll be all right. Well, that works out perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so what you doing to this right here? You just uh, do it? Actually, I'm doing a ring of pinion in this one. Okay. What happened? That what you see up there? Yeah. For this truck. Here. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting a new ring and pinion in, all new bearings, axles, and seals. And this is four by four, mm -hmm. ain't it? It's a fifteen hundred. Yeah. Just a two wheel drive. Oh, two wheel drive. Mm -hmm. so I like four by fours. Right, right. Yeah, especially up here, you gotta have a four by four up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that, what about that Regal over there? That man ain't came got that Regal yet. No. Um, he needs to just. Need he needs storage. It's all. I didn't did what he did. He put a motor in it. Mm -hmm. He had me to wire it up. Yeah. And get it running. Yeah. But he ain't got nowhere to put it. He need to sell it then. You know. Yeah, cause that I car is gonna get uh, rusted out on that grass. You know. I, I, what can you do? Man? Yeah. I got the Crown Vic over there. I did the work on that. Mm -hmm. He owed me seventy five dollars. He ain't come picked it up yet. Well, yeah. The Mercedes, my buddy, he moved out of his townhouse. Moved to apartment, he ain't got nowhere to park here. It's Damn. Just sitting there. He inherited that from his dad, and it was much nicer than that when it first came. The weather did that. It's been here now a year. Yeah, because they don't understand yeah, that you got to keep the car out of the elements. You got to keep them out the elements. <laughs> yep. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. But you know, yeah. You know? So I see. So, but yeah, but um, yeah, that's going to be the next move on that. So yeah. once I get that done. I'm gonna build a couple more transfers. Yeah. I'm getting back on them. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. So, so what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have this all cleaned out. Yeah. And I use my workbenches and stuff like that so I can do my assembly and that's how I do the video. I have some videos of oh, the phone over here. So, I think I showed you some of my pictures of some of the LS engines. Yeah, you did. So like um what I was gonna say, what you so the transmission, did you already get the um the torque converter? The converter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I had that in the dog on the face. We could have took a No, that's okay. I yeah. like when you set it all mm -hmm. up and you know you and get the, the video footage and shit, just send it this, to me. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay yep. out this converter going yep. in with the seal. Yep. With the star speed that they recommend for this mm -hmm. camshaft application. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you should mm -hmm. um on your when you be doing this territory, I don't know mm -hmm. why you don't set you a camera up and just be recording this shit and just you know put you your shit on YouTube because people watch this shit all day long. Yeah, they right. watch this shit all day long because I know right. I do. I watch it all day long. Right, right. Well, Especially that's how I learned how to do a lot of things. Exactly. Yep. When it comes to certain things like that, I guess I only do it when the 
my customers or clients ask me to do yeah. it. Yeah. Hell yeah, because yeah. eventually you can get paid off that shit. Yeah, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, you get enough views. Yep, right, and right, views right. and subscribers. Yo, yeah. you need at least a thousand subscribers. Right, right. Yep. Right. So make sure y'all like, share this right. video. Right, right. Yep. So you can go through and order it and everything. Yeah, you can edit it and all yeah. that shit yourself. Yep. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I see you got your. Yeah, your this the go. Yep, this is yeah. a little GoPro right here. Right. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's nice, man. Mm -hmm. Yep, so this all this I do on my spare time, yep, oh, when I'm not working. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it needs more than a thousand words. Yep. So, yeah, right. Yep, so it be it, it works. Yeah, that's good, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna get back to doing this so I can okay. get this thing back together. But but yeah, what I'll do, I'm gonna um, videotape it. So okay, okay. Here, here we go. And I'm gonna send it to you now. I guess I'll be doing my cell phone. That'd be fine. Yeah, hell yeah, because you um you got an iPhone, don't you, Terry? No, I got. Or it, it can be a regular it, phone. It, it don't matter. Android, but it don't matter. Video pretty good. Right? Yeah, because you know when I um sometimes when I ain't got this with me, oh. I use my phone to shoot my videos real quick. And then you can transfer. Them. Yeah, because um I don't have this with me, and this might be dead or something like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. yeah, but you know iPhone got better camera, uh built in and shit in them. Okay. So, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's different, yep. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. yeah man. All right, not Terry shit. I'm gonna get on up out of here, but um, okay. yeah. yeah, it's definitely we go headed in the right direction. I oh, see. Yeah. Oh yep. yeah. But um, like I say right now, this coronavirus stuff. Yeah, I know. Stuff down. It know? is. But the good thing about it, I got parts, so I can keep working. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Let me, you know what? Let me show you that damn gauge cluster okay. real quick while I'm mm -hmm. at it. Since I'm now, here. Now, would that boat in your desk in the place of yours? The, the way it's set up, it looked like it will. Mm -hmm. So I'm about to go. Oh, let me see. There you go, right here. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm quite sure that like, they... It looked like it sits right in my, uh. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that pod type, yeah. type deal. Well, the so, only thing you got to do is say, hey, this type of car, got do y'all yeah. have a setup for that? They probably do have one. Mm -hmm. Now, this here, would it plug into your original harness and all that? You haven't checked into it? I right? haven't checked. I'm going to call oh, them yeah, and get in touch thing. with them. I'm going to ask them and, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and I'm going to find out. And then, because I was figuring you can get this and also just grab some extra gauges just to monitor other things, you know. Well, Even, what, what my buddy was telling me about, they got that um kit to where the, it's a standalone. Yeah. And it comes with the harness and all that. Yeah. And it's got the gauges and everything in it. How that look? And. Did he send you a picture of it? Man, you can probably go online and, and, and get it. He talked, man, he said he got to set up that run the motor, the trans, all that. And yeah. it comes with his own pod thing. You oh, know, yeah? It's, it's a it's a unit about so big, and you can mount it in the car, or you, you don't have to mount it. You can unplug it or do whatever yeah. you want, but it'll give you all that. The RPMs, oil pressure, temp. Is that something like the iPad set up? Cause I seen one dude had an iPad set up where he got he can monitor all his gauges. Yeah, yeah but it's but it it looks similar to that, but this is part of the system. Okay. Where they plug in. Hmm. Let me see if I can bring this up. Let's see. Uh emission systems to run an MS engine setup. Yeah, so make sure y'all stay tuned for more of that 95 Impala build. There's a lot more coming, a lot more video footage. You know, by me living in Dallas, I got to come back and forth. But um, it's coming soon, so make sure you subscribe, stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like, you know, that's that thumb. Like it a lot. And I'm in this video here, you know, blackout.